Hi Pisces, good morning and happy Monday. And uh, this is the daily tea. This is your daily energy reading. See what energies might be affecting you today. And it's looking pretty good, Pisces. It's looking really good. Let me just say that. My name is Heidi. And if you're looking for personal readings, please check out the link in my description. I'm so grateful for all the new followers. And I'm grateful you're here. So let's get to it, Pisces. Let's get to your day. <laughs> Pisces, this is your life. Okay, I'm going to stop. So angel strength is here, the world, and the first chakra. Like, wow. <gasps> wow, Pisces. I mean, you, you may have been dealing with some blockages that came from a space, maybe of some, you know. It could have actually been like confidence issues, right? But I do feel like something is happening here. Um, some sort of wish is being fulfilled for you. Something you really want. Um, really, I, I do also feel like you've been focused on that. You've been focused on doing good things for yourself. And, you know, you are overcoming challenges here and moving into a new cycle. I, it's The world is here twice, Pisces. Okay. Now, this could be a new cycle in love because the King of Cups and the world is here. And we're also seeing the Four of Wands. So, definitely a new cycle, perhaps in a relationship. You are going to be really happy here because you're overcoming something that was some sort of blockage that was happening here. Okay? Definitely. Um... And, and moving beyond insecurities, I mean, it could just be that, like, you weren't feeling very much confidence in this relationship. And all of a sudden, because of something, you know, um, it could be, like, maybe this person is paying more attention to you. Or maybe, I don't know, but it's kind of like you're moving beyond these insecurities. Something is happening that brings in a fresh start and a complete turnaround because there's some change that's happening because the 1111 card is here Pisces the 1111 card is bringing stability and harmony to the situation it's a coming together it's coming into union and something about this is really working out <laughs> really working out on the bottom we have the door to personal healing and happiness um, I, it's interesting because I also feel, I don't know what this is, Pisces, like, because I feel like you may have also walked away from someone. It's interesting. But anyhow, you're getting what you want here and, and, you know, a fresh cycle and it could be a relationship, four of wands. It could just be things going right for you, you know, um, because the Four of Wands also talks about stability, also talks about harmony, but there's a change that happened, and I don't know if this is you, like, I don't know if you made the change, um, but whatever it is, it really gives you confidence that things can work out, take this as whatever this is for you, Pisces, okay, for sure. Um, because on the bottom is the Eight of Cups and the Six of Wands. Jesus. So, something was disappointing. There's some disappointment that's really turning around for you. Really turning around for you. Wow. I don't even know what that is, Pisces. So, your energy is the Queen of Cups. Uh, which is interesting because I really feel like you, you're you real balanced in your energy because you showed up as the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Because I asked for you specifically. You know, you might be... There seems to be some sort of emotional balance going on because you're balancing your feminine and your masculine energies. Even though both of these are feminine, for sure. Um... I feel like there's just a balance coming in. Now, this could be a balance with a person, right? It could be because you're feeling, you know, 
and also in the Queen of Cups can mean that you're feeling emotional, but it, it doesn't feel that way to me. It feels like you just really, in this space of self-love, that's really, truly amazing, I will say, because the Queen of Cups nurtures herself, right? What's going on today? No, I, I, there was a, a conflict, okay? Maybe you couldn't get on the same page with someone, Five of Wands. With the, with the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Swords, it feels like someone, I mean, maybe it was you, maybe it was the other person was holding on to something. And there's a sense of walking away from that. Walking away from that. Now, the Five of Swords, you know, that could have been the blockage. You know, the Five of Swords can be like, there's no winners here. You know, I feel like this may have been like a battle of wills with you and someone else. Um, or you and other people or the people around you. But there were, there were no winners here. So, you know, you probably felt like you just needed to let it go and you let it go. You know, it's just like, it's cool, you win. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um... And, you know, how you can have a good day is exactly that, Pisces, Six of Swords, um, to stop, like, like, whatever this fight was, whatever this conflict was, it's really telling you it's not worth it, just let it go. Six of Swords reversed. You know, um... It won't get you anywhere, and you know this, right? Nine of Swords reverses your advice, and, you know, stop worrying about it. Stop thinking about, you know, they're telling you to stop thinking about what could go wrong. Stop thinking about letting it affect you mentally, right? Um, and I feel as if someone might actually, like, whatever happens here, whatever this news is you're getting, or this wish being fulfilled, allows for you to do that, right? So, yeah, that, I, I know that's interesting, right? Yeah, I, I feel like this has been hard for you. I feel like this has been hard for you. Because we're seeing the moon... And the Queen of Swords. And the Two of Swords. Kind of, it could be that particularly in, in regards to whoever this is that you're having this issue with. Just not knowing what's going to happen. You know, um, you may be at a crossroads with this person. Or you may have been. But it's really just, you know, time for healing. Take the swords out. Put the swords down. You know, um... It could be that you were avoiding the truth of something. You know, and maybe that, you know, had to do with, you know, what you needed to walk away from. I don't know, Pisces. I don't know. <laughs> That's a lot, I know, Pisces, right? But I feel like what it actually is working out, and it, you know, you may be finding that it were, was actually insecurities um, that needed to be overcome that were actually causing the blockage in this situation, even if it's a relationship. So I love this. I love this for you, Pisces. I feel like this is really great energy. So, let's see what you need to focus on. What does Pisces need to focus on today? Oh, wait. Let me get to who's influencing your day. Totally forgot about that, Pisces. So, the sun. So, you're definitely feeling this Leo energy. So, I don't know if this is like a person from the past for you. Because we are Venus retrograde in Leo. Um, there's a sense of coming together 
and getting on the same page with someone. Um, and, and you're going to find that once you do, like, it may have been the insecurities that actually caused the conflict, right? Um, not having enough confidence, but that it could succeed. Because the truth is, is like, and this is just like I was seeing in your reading yesterday. This person actually thinks more like you than you think. And this is going to make you happy. And there's, you know, illumination being put towards that. Okay, so let's get to your focus, Pisces. What does Pisces need to focus on today, Spirit? What does Pisces need to focus on today? Okay. Oh, wow. Discernment. Things aren't exactly as they seem. You need to look below the surface. Definitely. Okay. And you have all the resources you need. Hmm. So I feel like you may have been feeling like your needs weren't going to be met, but you're being asked to look deeper. To look at it again. What are you not seeing? What are you not seeing? You have everything here that you need. Okay, Pisces. So let's round this off with a message from your spirit guides. What do you want to tell Pisces? And, you know, with the Nine of Cups, it's kind of like maybe you just needed to figure out what you want it right maybe you needed to figure out where your happiness laid maybe that was key to things working out and overcoming any doubts that you had here okay pisces what is your message for pisces oh boy Think about what you really want, Pisces. Okay. Um, and it's kind of telling you that when you figure out what you really want, you're going to be supported. You're going to be supported here. Okay. Okay, Pisces. That's what I have for you today. I hope you have a fabulous day.